A lot of this is like tone policing. A lot of this is like missing the forest through the trees. Where like the actual issue is, it is simply not healthy to eat five to 10,000 calories every day. Nikado, avocado, or whatever the hell, I still don't know what the actual name of this person's channel is, is apparently oh, having a rough go of it. Or not, depending, I guess, on who you ask. I'm relatively certain there is a rabbit hole in regards to this person. I don't know how far it goes. I hear it, you know, pretty far, but we'll see. So this is YouTuber slowly killing himself for views. I mean, aren't we all? I guess it depends on in what way. So Mr. Critical here will give us the information we're looking for. How far would you go for some updoots on the internet? How badly do you want to suckle from that juicy teat of internet clout? I've I don't know that, so for me to answer this question, I don't know that I care enough or that much about like being famous or having a lot of clout or like being well known in any way. All I want is to make enough money doing this content creation stuff, which I enjoy. It's labor I enjoy doing to pay my bills. That's really all I really want. So I, I don't really care too much about being known. In fact, I would prefer not to be in a lot of ways and in a lot of different circumstances, but it's kind of antithetical to what I'm trying to do here. Regardless, with clout comes money if you can monetize it well. So. We've seen some wacky, goofy shit recently for those internet points. You remember those dudes that went to jail for three years on TikTok because they were filming a stop the train prank where they just sit on the train tracks and hope the train stops in time before they get brutally fucking blasted by it? And then it actually did stop and then they went to jail. We also Lamau. recently saw that kid play the fake robbery prank on some strangers and he got shot and died for it. His last words were quite literally just a prank, bro. Uh, at least according to a few sources, that was an extremely sad one. Jesus. So we've seen some... Did you start making YouTube videos, then streaming? I started streaming, then I started making YouTube videos while streaming at the same time, and then I was only streaming for a while, and then I came back to streaming for a while, and then I started the YouTube channel with High Progressive Self a couple months ago. And today I want to talk about a pretty special case. It's, it's someone that I'm sure you've heard of. I've talked about him before. A lot of people have. He's been a big name on YouTube for a while. His name's Nakato Avocado. I want to talk about what's going on recently with him. In fact, I'm just going to go ahead and take my swampy ass out of here for a second and let Nakato Avocado kind of take it away. This is from his Let's most go. recent video. This is kind of what his content has become. <laughs> I wouldn't have become disabled if it weren't for you people who encouraged these videos. This is the six dollar, this is the ten dollars. <coughs> Ouch! My ribs! How many months are we gonna have to endure this pain? All right, let's go for this. Ooh, this definitely looks cheesier. Got this one. <laughs> Thank you and for that. I'm allergic to this one too. Oh, but sometimes in life you just want what you can't have. I'm not allowed to have garlic or lots of onions or durian. I'm wondering, could this be classified as self-harm, especially eating what you're allergic to? Now, of course, overeating, especially depending on what you're eating, is usually not a good play. I mean, there's nothing wrong with being bigger. And, you know, if you're eating a lot of calories and not doing a lot to moderate it, then obviously you're probably going to gain weight. And that's not really that much of an issue, in my opinion. Like, there's nothing wrong with being fat, necessarily. But, like, if you're eating things that you're allergic to, like for me, for instance, I have an allergy to tree nuts. I developed it recently. I used to be able to eat pecans, almonds, you know, pistachios, walnuts, all this kind of shit. I love tree nuts, dude. You know, can't eat them anymore. As it would turn out, very allergic now. Didn't used to be, now I am. So I can't eat those anymore. So if I was to eat them, I would technically be engaging in some form of self-harm. Now, I don't want to equivocate most people's understanding of self-harm to that because it's not the same, like cutting or whatever else some people might do. But I could see that YouTube might not want to promote that kind of idea, which is surprising to me as to how you could get away with saying some shit like that. But that being said, depending on how allergic you are, it's probably not the biggest deal. I, I'm curious, man, because it, it seems like 
Unless it's like completely sensationalized. We're starting the video saying, I am in pain literally because of what I'm doing for content, but I'm going to keep doing it. And that does not bode well in my head. Like, this person needs help. Now, to anyone that's familiar with this creator, you'll probably think that this is nothing special. This just looks like every other video he's ever made, Same just with it. less crying. You've probably even seen Nikado Avocado around other parts of the internet. If you don't even know who he is, you've probably seen some of his clips. By he the way, I have no idea who this person is. I saw a little, I saw like some stuff being floated around on Twitter uh, that I didn't really engage with. So I'm basically going in completely unaware. So then why did I decide this video and these clips to show you? Well, as you can tell from the title of that video, he now claims to be a disabled person, which I'll get into in a minute, but I want to focus on what he said at the beginning, outside of making some of the most revolting noises I've heard in quite some time while undergoing some kind of exorcism. He said, it's your fault for encouraging these videos. Now, he's, he says shit like this pretty often. And it shows me that there's still some self-awareness deep within him somewhere, locked, locked deep away. But that rational side of him, he keeps buried, locked in a cage, and still does this content. Nakano Avocado didn't start as this kind of channel. Even four years ago, 2017, so four years ago now, he was a very healthy person. He seemed to be pretty mentally, you know, sound. He wasn't breaking down on camera all the time and going wild and crazy from what I remember. He was even extremely good at an instrument. I think it was the violin, if I remember correctly. He was a vegan. He was just preaching some really positive stuff. What I want to say, and I want to get it out of the way really quickly uh, for anybody who could be like, oh my god, Connor said that there's nothing necessarily wrong with being fat. Now, this has always been my take. What I think needs to happen, society, like, desperately needs to divorce this idea that exercise equals weight loss. The primary purpose of exercise is to strengthen various parts of your body. If you're doing aerobic exercise, you are strengthening your cardiovascular system, your heart, your lungs. And, you know, the stronger they are, the more efficient you become. Do uh, any kind of strength training, lifting weights, doing, like, exercise with your legs. The purpose of that is to strengthen those muscles that you're targeting. Weight loss may just happen to be a side effect of it. In fact, you could actually gain weight, depending on the kind of exercise you're doing, in the form of muscle mass. So, this concept that exercise equals weight loss, I think is very dangerous. Because of the amount of fat phobia that is out there, and the amount of negative ways that exercise is kind of pushed to bigger people, I would imagine that a lot of people have a negative reaction to like the idea of exercise because they correlate it so much with weight loss, which is problematic. In my opinion, everybody should be exercising. Your body operates better. It has, it correlates to positive effects when it comes to your mental health. If you're like going outside for walks, getting out into the sun, seeing other people, seeing nature, depending on where you live and stuff like that is very good for the mental as well. I think one of the primary reasons people don't like to exercise very much is because of that negative idea of exercise being for weight loss. So people will be like, oh, but I'm happy with how I am. And society's kind of like forcing me to exercise because they want me to look a certain way. Be happy with who you are are exercise is always going to be good for you anyway just to clear all that up or videos where he was just fucking gluttonous and eating a million calories per sitting so he stuck with it and now he has a couple of channels where he does this pretty much every day and it's been like this for the last four or so years this is what he used to look like in 2017 and then when the videos really started to gain traction he gained over 200 pounds and it's absolutely true it's the audience's fault for this. They created what Nakado Avocado has become. Obviously, it's not all their fault. He is making the conscious decisions to completely throw away his health and well-being, which has now led to his disability, which he claims to have. He claims to have three broken ribs, which is attributed to his incredible weight gain. Incredible being the wrong word, really just astonishingly upsetting weight gain that he's been putting on recently. He claims that the weight of his body has now broken a few of his ribs which now has him bedridden i think he also does that actually happen that would surprise me if that actually happens i find that very unlikely you would imagine broken ribs are usually from like blunt force impact like they fall or they get hit by something you know can simple weight gain do i yeah you must have like fallen or something but i, I don't know we just haven't heard it in this video yet that's also how claimed that i have to have a full-time nurse in order for him to just engage in day-to-day -day activities and he also has been diagnosed with sleep apnea, I believe, which is why you'll see on his most recent thumbnails, he has like that machine hooked up to his nose that makes him look like some kind of like cyborg from the future or something. 
it, it, it seems to be really be wait if that's isn't that usually only for sleeping like does, is there a purpose for using it when you're not sleeping i actually don't know i'm genuinely curious he claims it was from sneezing or something oh i see said it made some cough less i see going downhill quickly for him People have been saying for the last couple years that Nakato Avocado is literally killing himself for YouTube views, and it's absolutely true. He is slowly killing himself and documenting the journey the entire time while having an understanding of exactly what he's doing. For almost the last four years, almost every day, he has done mukbangs like this, where he's eating six pizzas, eight pizzas. He'll get like fucking McDonald's and he'll order everything off the menu and then ask if they can just tilt the grill over to get a little extra grease in a cup for him to drink on camera. He's also been saying for a little while now that he's going to be losing some weight. His weight loss journey has begun, but what ends up happening is for every pound he loses, he gains 10 more. I did oh, and I will say, by the way, if you do want to lose weight, and there's no shame in that so long as you're not like reducing your weight to unhealthy levels, diet is going to take you there much faster than exercise will, though you should be exercising anyway. And I don't mean diet as in there is a specific diet you need to follow in order to achieve a certain goal. I mean diet as in the actual definition of the word, which is what you eat. Changing it, like getting a lot of sweets out potentially, a lot of it is calories in, calories out. Speaking with your doctor could be helpful, speaking with like licensed personal trainers or what, I don't, I don't know where exactly you go, but it seems like calories in, calories out in combination with exercise is the play. And obviously you're gonna be wanting to eat healthier foods just because there's a lot of positive benefits to eating healthier foods. It'll take you further than exercise ever will by itself, uh, but you should still be exercising. As you probably noticed from the screenshot, the last six days he's posted a video each day talking about his disability and his new diet with it. And each one, he has tons and tons of food from different places, and it's not clickbait. He really eats all of that food. Very rarely does he not finish his plate. He usually finishes- I did not see the time codes before when this was shown. 36 minutes, 49 minutes, 57, 44, holy shit. So I guess you really does just eat it all because that's a lot of time spent. Excuse me. That's a lot of time. YouTube should not be monetizing this. Uh, it depends. I'm leaning toward that it shouldn't, but YouTube ceasing the monetization, I don't think would be enough to help this person. And in fact, it might cause more negative ramifications. I don't, I don't know any actions from YouTube would be able to do enough. In a general sense, divorcing Nikado from the situation, just like concept of people eating like insane amounts of calories for a video, um, I mean, you can one off that kind of shit and it's not like the worst thing for you. Um, so I don't know that it necessarily should be like rules against it, but I don't know. Th like what we're seeing here is just not good. Almost nothing goes to waste. It goes right into Nakato Avocado's gut. And one thing you may have also noticed from that screenshot is his views are high, which is exactly why he does it. Yeah, most of them have more dislikes than likes. But even on the one I showed you, that's still like 4,000 likes. So there are 4,000 people dropping a fat like, leaving an encouraging comment. And he's usually peddling some merch. So the shirts you see him wear, he immediately pins in a comment for you to buy them. And I imagine he sells quite a few shirts. A lot of what his content has become is him making really gross noises and shaking his head around while trying his best to like shake his whole body around to really let you know that he's gained a lot of weight, which I don't know, man. The whole thing is just weird and just sad. Uh, and, and that's that's all I, really, I wanted to talk about. This is just another one of those things where it's like, man, the links people go to for some internet fame, like, you know, it's just upsetting to see. So, I mean, yeah, that's really about it. So, yeah. I think reducing it down to internet fame is not necessarily the best. Now, I would imagine there's a lot of people who like the idea of being famous, like the idea of being talked about, like the idea of being a public figure in that way. But I would imagine the money is a bigger motivating factor because obviously with the fame, you can monetize your audience in a variety of ways, which we're learning Nikado has through the form of merch or OnlyFans or whatever else. I would imagine the money is a bigger motivator because if you are in the United States and you you know have health insurance that you have to pay through the nose for, and you have to have like medical procedures that you have to pay through the nose for, having a consistent stream of revenue in the form of a YouTube channel is a very enticing thing to keep around. And if you become aware of the fact that your audience really only watches you for a certain thing, you're gonna continue to do that thing because it's the thing that's getting you money to be able to continue paying your bills. So I think, I would imagine anyway, that the money is a bigger motivating factor, not just the fame, which I think is a silly thing to reduce it down to, though of course it's probably still part of it. Uh, but anyway, I sincerely hope that Nikado gets the help 
that he needs. It seems like we're doing some things uh, that might be better, but I don't know, really. <laughs> it's it's hard to say. I've only watched this video. It's the only thing I've seen from it. Wait, did Nikado make a response video? Official response. 26 minutes. Penguinzo ruined me. 35 minutes. <clears throat> Listen, I'm happy for you. Or sorry that happened. Because <laughs> I'm not <laughs> watching all that shit. <laughs> this is many minutes. And I just do not currently have the time for it. Uh, we'll, we'll, okay, listen. Which is more recent? We'll get a taste of what there is. Hi. October 1st. So this is the first one that came. We'll get a taste. I'll 1.25 it. I'm furious. So if you want to hear a nice rant, stay. Get a little comfy. And I'm really, really upset. Let's go. I'm furious. Do you realize that this person fooled you? He pulled wool over your eyes. I'm telling you, there should be a study on people like this who have this way of sounding really articulate and really intelligent without actually saying anything of intellectual value at all. They're this superiority... That being said, I can... Like, Charlie's video was pretty surface level. That is true. Complex, this self... That being said, a lot of the, like, the, the red flags being pointed out were worthwhile as well. Like, if anybody's out there who realizes the success that Nikado Avocado has had in doing what they're doing for content, they might try to emulate that, and they might go down the same unhealthy path, and that's not a good thing. So it is important to talk about the negative sides of it. Righteous, this preachy, preachy, holier than thou, arrogant, slightly narcissistic way of communicating. But yet he contradicts himself in all of his stuff and at my expense. Do you realize how serious this is, everybody? He said that I was myself. He said that I was haunting myself. This is disgusting. And when I point this out to him, this supposed, oh, I'm coming from a place of concern. I'm, I'm sorry. If you're eating, I don't know how many calories you're eating. Does anybody have like an average count per video of how many calories is being consumed by this person in a single video? Now, calorie counts are, you know, a bit ambiguous. It's person to person how many calories per day you should be eating to, you know, sustain yourself. But if you're like, if you're eating like an upwards of five to 10,000 calories, that is not very good. Five to 10,000 calories is too much. I would imagine most people would understand that. Uh, and you could border on self-harm as a result, especially if you're not like also burning off a good amount of those calories. Because there are some people that like are really into working out and they have to bulk up and eat a lot of calories in order to burn it all off. I don't know that that's what's happening here. Of, you know, I'm sad for you. I'm actually concerned for you. Yeah, you're so damn fucking concerned, yet you did nothing about that video that's currently spewing all over the internet. That currently, four million views. And you know what's strange to me? That we have this grown ass man, grown ass men making videos in their gaming room about other grown ass men and their dietary choices. Or, I'm coming from a place of concern. This just saddens me so much. I'm so sad. I can't agree that. And, and maybe it's just Charlie's uh, like monotone voice and very boring way of speaking that makes him sound very cold and disconnected and not very genuine in any kind of like concern he may actually have. But that being said, I don't necessarily disagree with a lot of the points that Critical brought up. A lot of this is like tone policing. A lot of this is like missing the forest through the trees. Where like the actual issue is, it is simply not healthy to eat five to 10,000 calories every day, especially really bad quality food like fast food. I would imagine most people would agree with that concept. That's the primary issue is that there is a genuine concern. Even if you don't think Critical has this genuine concern, there is a genuine concern from a lot of people that you are hurting yourself for doing this and you have to try to do something to get better or it could get worse so regardless of how genuine you think he is that's still true but if we hyper focus on critical and we hyper focus on his tone then we can just ignore that entire conversation grown ass men who are concerned making videos like that if you're concerned you, you send me an email you write to me you dm me you write to my network you write to my sponsors you write to my manager you reach out in a personal way if you're really concerned you profited off of this and the worst part is when i approached you with my response saying hey i woke up to a sea of hatred there's 50 thousand comments collectively across five by the way i don't know i don't really know very much about critical's fan base but fat phobia is like baked into like the foundation of most people's understanding of the world i would imagine 
you know, in any community, you would find a lot of people very ready to throw a lot of hatred towards this person, Nikado, which is not very good, and it's not going to convince anybody to do anything to better themselves. In fact, you might lead people to double down. If you had a genuine concern for people, hatred and, and you know, derogatory comments are not going to be the way you convince anybody. My YouTube channels that I should that I should be that I don't deserve to keep because I don't respect my body. And then you had the nerve to come back a second time and say, well, I never stand for hatred. I've made two videos one time about how I don't think it's cool. You have thousands of videos and I get it, I get it. You didn't say that. But let's face it, when people see a title that this person's themselves and the average person watches 20 seconds and they're bored or they're at home or they're children or they're dumb or they're just looking to cause mischief, they're gonna go to my page and create a bunch of crap that I have to deal with. And if I tell you that I'm hurt and you don't take the time to go back to the video that's currently spreading like wildfire to, I don't know, add a description. Hey guys, don't send, don't, don't this person, don't wish harm onto them. Make another video and double down on some of the lies. That says so much about your character, Charlie. And I don't All right, so it's a lot of tone policing. I don't know how much more we're gonna get. This is a 26 minute video. The, the squeaks serve to help against demonetization for a lot of the words that are being said. There are a variety of words that if you if you don't bleep them out, you could get demonetized on to, uh, on YouTube. He's just concerned for you, Nick. We're also worried. He's coming from a place of concern. He is never out of character anymore, it seems. So this response is not him being genuine or taking it seriously. He spends the majority of the 41 minutes of this response video eating because he does a mukbang during it. And hey. Wait, is this a... Wait, did I skip one? This came out on October 3rd. This came out on October 1st. So I thought... I don't know, dude. Obviously, Critical did it for content. That is true. You could disagree with the way that he did it. I don't think that this video is particularly helpful either. However, to hyper-focus on the way that this video was made, you're missing the forest with the trees like I said before. There is a genuine problem here. Regardless of how genuine you think Critical is, there are people who are genuinely concerned for your well-being. I don't know shit about you, Nikado. This is the first time really I've heard of you. But I like to think I am empathetic enough to be able to convey this genuinely. You know, I hope you're able to find a better way to address this issue with your health and whatever may coincide. I don't know the ins and outs of it. I'm not your doctor, but there are people out there who have a genuine care for the well-being of not only you, but other people in a similar circumstance. It is what it is. Regardless, like I said in the beginning, society needs to desperately divorce the concept that exercise equals weight loss because that's not the case. Making healthy dietary changes will get you more weight loss than exercise by itself ever could. The primary purpose of exercise is to strengthen various parts of the body, which makes your body more efficient, which makes it easier for you to live. It's just a good thing. And it has a lot of positive mental effects as well that are correlated to it. It's a good thing to do. Exercise does not equal weight loss. And I think it's important to, you know, segregate those two ideas because there's a lot of fat phobic shaming that goes on that is not helpful, that is counterproductive, because, and I think because of that correlation between weight loss and exercise, people are hesitant to, uh, to exercise as a result, and it's just not good. Everybody should exercise. Best of luck, and if anybody else finds themselves in a situation like that, there is always a way that you can help yourself. It may not be easy. It's going to require a lot of, you know, you know, lifestyle change that is going to be daunting. Uh, but, you know, baby steps. You can get there, and I believe in you. This video is Connor Call It as Inca Blue. Congrats once again, you won a month ago, and now here you are again, which is, you know, pretty cool. If you'd like to be the next Connor Call Out, all you gotta do, brother man, is follow me on Twitter at ConnorCC, retweet my video links when they go live, you know the drill by this point. Yeah, yeah, if you hit up the god dang sub button, you should absolutely be shooting the notification bell at range, demonstrate your skill, put all the notifications on, you absolute delinquent. Also, like and comment if you like and comment, and watch out for a future video, because if you like this one, there will be another coming down the pipeline where we address Adam from YMS's take on the situation. It's pretty cool. Alright, see ya. Goodbye. It became very, 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 very fucking obvious to me that this is just a fetish thing. Alright, so we have the first major charge from Adam YMS, if that is your real name. So it seems to be very, very obvious that it's a fetish thing. Let's see how we substantiate such a claim.